Shrimati Bandara Ji Chavan. So I stand on behalf of my party, the Nationalist Congress Party, to support the Triple IT Bill. The present bill is definitely an important step in India's path of digital re revolution initiated by our late Prime Minister Sri Rajiv Gandhi. So I still remember the days when I was in college when IT and computer were, uh, were words foreign to all of us. Madam, and that Madam time, one second, one second. Sir. You have only three minutes. Three minutes. So kindly concentrate on the bill. Okay, sir. And therefore, uh, people thought that we were dreaming the impossible. So the Honorable Minister rightly said that India is a global hub for software development. And if my, I may add business process manufacturing and hardware is somewhere that we lag. We have a great potential, sir, and therefore I request the Honorable Minister to make sure that the graduates who graduate from the triple IT or IITs and IIMs concentrate on becoming uh, are trained to start up units and there is an enabling atmosphere and their businesses are incentivized. I would like to only make three points, sir, here and in bullet form so that I don't exceed my time. One, sir, is the, I urge the Honorable Minister to make an effort to bridge the disconnect between academia, industry, and government. So the curriculum should be structured in tune with the growth of industry or perhaps a step forward. So whatever was new yesterday in IT becomes old tomorrow. And therefore, there has to be a dynamic process of making the curriculum updated. Second, sir, the research in the academy should cater to the needs of the industry and government. Thirdly, tremendous amount of research sir, happens in several universities, but this is not channelized for creative work. Therefore, I urge the minister that this research is channelized in a manner beneficial to industry and government. My second uh, main point, sir, is ensuring world-class faculties and triple ITs. Tarun Vijay ji, Naresh Agarwal ji, Bhupender ji, all stressed upon uh, this need. So in the current scenario, there are approximately 36.5% positions in 16 IITs which lie vacant. So 40.8% vacancies which lie vacant in 30 NITs. And therefore, so I feel teaching profession should be made uh, as far as attractive. I'm very tempted to elaborate, but I will not. So the third point and the last point which I uh, wish to make is uh, we need to include industry-oriented faculty in triple ITs. So one of the reasons for lack of quality industry-oriented faculties in Indian universities is that the AICTE regulation mandates PhD for permanent position of professors and associate professors. So in today's scenario, not many are attracted to pursue a rigorous doctoral program. The global business schools like universities of Chicago, uh, where there is a practice of having two categories of professors, one who is a PhD and other who is a clinical professor who are not PhDs but have outstanding corporate exposure and teaching delivery skills. So this model could be replicated in these universities. So this is an ambitious legislation and uh, uh, certainly these institutes will remarkably add to the iconic position we already hold on the global uh, canvas. Uh, so my only last point, I really wish out of the four places that uh, four places that the universities are coming in, if Maharashtra would have been one, it would have really made us happy. Thank you very much. Sir. Thank you so much.